Hello again YouTube and today we are going to be looking at these motor controllers and using them to demonstrate how I can move the motors on this robot. So in the last robot update I was talking about how I was going to control the motors. I was discussing several different options I could use. Such options mainly included either just making it out of relays or MOSFETs or buying an H-bridge. I actually did buy a couple of H-bridges. I might still use them for something else. But uh, what I found here is some actual brushed motor controllers. I bought these a couple of years ago and I could never get them to work. But I actually found out how to make them move one of these motors. So here it is, it's down there, it is hooked up to, this is uh, 12 volts DC of power, and that goes all the way into this motor over here. And then of course in the corner we have an Arduino. This Arduino is just programmed using the simple servo motor sweep program it's just the example code I haven't done anything to it basically what it's supposed to do is it is supposed to make a servo sweep and then come back but on this motor what it effectively does is it makes it spin one way and then it spins the other way and you could see how I got everything wired up I used Anderson power pole connectors on these uh, luckily they match up with each other, but uh, they normally don't come with those. I put them on the motor controller specifically for my purposes. So here we have down here our Arduino is hooked up, but uh, one thing you may notice is that when you wire one of these things, you plug the black wire and the white wire into the Arduino. So to give a better example, this is the cable for a motor controller and this is a cable for a servo and they're effectively the same but as you can see what I did down here is that it is very important to connect the white wire and the black wire on the motor controller but if you're using a servo you connect the positive wire as well so on the motor controller you don't connect the positive and the reason that you do that is because the motor controller is already being powered by the input voltage coming from the power source to the motor so it doesn't actually need to be powered by the Arduino. In fact, I think that the motor controllers actually output 5 volts, so if you wanted to, you could power the Arduino with the motor controller instead of vice versa. So let's turn this on and watch it go. My wires got a little disconnected there, but I'll reconnect them. So it is connected on pin 9. And this should just make it spin when I turn it on. I'll be making another video explaining exactly everything that I did later. This is just an introduction to what I did. So let's turn on the power right now and the motor should turn on. So after running this, we can notice a few things. First of which is while we were running this motor, we actually carved out a lot of the plastic of this plastic ring, which serves as the hub for the motor. So now the motor actually kind of spins freely. So it ground down the plastic and that was without even making contact with the ground. So I think I could do some engineering or whatever and try to make a better one but what I think I'm gonna try to do is just get a hold of some metal to make a metal one of those and then I'll just screw on like a normal bolt would 
And also with the speed controller, there's another problem with how this wire was very, uh, this wire, it just wouldn't make contact with the other wire on the positive side. So I had to wiggle it around to make it even contact. And it would only work some of the times as well for this uh, Arduino. These wires, you can see that, yeah, they just come out easily. And when I tried to use this motor, the power supply would just cut out. There might be a short in it or something. I don't know. But it does work still, kind of. So I don't know. There's a lot more work to be done with making this actually go. But as I said before, I'm going to be getting H bridges. And those might be easier to use than these electronic speed controllers. But I do have them already, and they are 60 amps. And these motors do not draw 60 amps. They would draw about uh, 4 amps each maximum. So I could easily run a couple of them off of one. So that might be an idea to consider for next time.